In this video I'm going to show you how to take a movie from YouTube and turn it into a downloaded resource that sits on your computer. The advantage to this is that the movie can be played anytime, anywhere without having to connect to the internet or even go to the internet at all. So first of all here I've got the video that I want to use. And down the bottom here I have a share button. When I click this it gives me a few different options. For our purposes today we need the link. Now this link is special because it links to the video, not necessarily to the whole page. So I'm going to copy that by right clicking and copy. And then up here you'll see that I've got another page open in my web browser. Now this works the same whether you're on a PC or a Mac. So here I click and here's KeepVid, keepvid.com. And it's a very straightforward site. And in here it says URL, and URL means address, it's the website address. So I'm going to overwrite this one, and using my control V I'm going to paste in the new address. And then I click download. Over here you can see that it's finding it, so it's, it's found the actual link that I want to download, and now it's going to get the information. So here it is, and I know it's the right one because I recognize that thumbnail, and here's the name of it. Here are my download options. First of all, we need to look at the different file types it offers. We don't want to worry about 3GP. And if you download MP3, it will give you only the audio. So we don't want that either. So our options now are MP4 or FLV, which stands for Flash. Now, Flash will play on Macs and PCs, uh, although sometimes you do have to download a separate player, which is quite simple and straightforward and free. These numbers here represent the quality of the video. The higher the number, the higher the quality. MP4 is um, a Mac extension, a Mac file type, and it plays in iTunes. But if you've got a PC computer that has iTunes installed, it will play there too. So I'm going to click on here. On some PCs, it won't automatically download. You will have to right click and choose Save Target As and then it saves the file in exactly the right spot. So you can see here that we're downloading and it's quite a large file, it's nearly 6 megabytes. So now that it's downloaded you can see that it has saved it to my computer and now if I just double click it, it opens the video and I can play it. I don't need to go to the internet and I don't need to worry about anything else.